Hey everybody, welcome back to Worst Ready for a new bike yet? No. I don't need no new bikes. <laughs> Are you ready? The Josh says! Oh my god, I m fucking kicked Broom Helga <laughs> off her fucking bike <laughs> in the next year! Alright, that justified another episode. I was skeptical, but you know. Uh, Are you ready for yeah. a new bike yet, Prophy? <laughs> you did. Yeah, you did whip ass on some motherfuckers within the first 30 feet of the race. Well, it's because, because I got the green fucking bike. The bike, the game tricks you. That makes you punch harder? <laughs> no, but it makes me feel more confident. I have been tumescent since we started recording. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the bike, the game tricks you into getting this irredeemably shitty purple ass bike. Ass bike. That's what I, purple I, ass, I, no, I, I, ass I bike, he, yes. I hear where the hyphen is. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> well, the audience at home can't necessarily. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, trust me, they can. Oh, I've ruined <laughs> so many people. <laughs> I, I can't be pardoned for my sins or my sine waves. And then, you know, Kyle just splice in one of my awful sounds. Ah! <laughs> well, you're going to tell me to do it again as we're editing. Uh, well, I'll forget. Kyle, it's me versus Ikira. Do you understand? Who no, we did not see. So, oh, your shit. your instructions oh, yeah, in the last race were again. worthless. God damn it all. Uh, no, we'll have to have edit in the Mr. The Hands shit. band if we ever see fucking Ikira. If we see his face. We see his fucking face. Come on, get I think on. It's in everyone's highway. interest if they are not affiliated with this show anymore. So, <laughs> we're gonna, um, we're gonna, uh, uh, not plagiarize. What's the term? Uh, defame. We're gonna defame <laughs> a man. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna defame him. We're gonna. If he was famous, he will not be famous anymore. <laughs> I think he's thankfully not in the public eye. Thankfully, on his part, like he's not, he's not under an ominous red spotlight right now. <laughs> How do you know? How the fuck do you know that's not what's happening right now in his real life? And he doesn't understand why, but he recognizes the signs somewhere in the recesses of his brain. He's like, this hasn't happened in. He 10 just knows. Years. He feels the heat of, of <laughs> industry, like of stage Klieg lights. The eye just of Sauron baking his skin. And he knows that MCI had has done him dirt. And then he, then he, uh, he I'm closes sorry, his eyes. Like, yeah. The Trouble Planet. The Tr Trouble yeah, Planet. Yeah, Trouble Planet brand. Yeah, I, I, I kind of made that mistake earlier today because, like, I was. You've made more than one mistake. <laughs> I, I was talking about um, that new Midnight something, the Pendleton Ward new cartoon he did on. Um, oh, Midnight Gospel. Yeah, Midnight Gospel. Okay, so I, I want to preface: if you like the show, that's fine. I was not. Uh, briefed on what the show was about. I just saw Pendleton Ward and I saw the... the, the oh, so you were expecting more Adventure Time. Yeah, uh, yeah something like that. I saw, I've saw. i seen Adventure Time. I've seen The Bravest Warriors. So I'm like, oh, great. More Pendleton Ward. I love Pendleton Ward. And then what I got... But it, you didn't expect a snuff film! Yeah, no, what I got <laughs> was I got like some <laughs> podcast with Pendleton Ward art. So I was pretty disappointed, you know? I'm just like, oh... This is some podcast. It's like kind of, you know, and that's, I'm not trying to say it's bad. You I'm are not saying, in a position to criticize low effort expected. content. It sure. was absolutely 100% not what I was expecting. And I was right. very disappointed because it's, 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 uh, it's. And I'm sure that can kind of sour the experience for yeah. you. It's probably, I mean, it's, if I, if I came at it knowing what it was going to be, or not having the expectation of a Pendleton Ward project, I probably would have loved it. But like just watching it for like what I thought it was going to be, like watching the the the, the preview, yeah. I'm like, oh great, another Pendleton Ward thing. It's gonna be trippy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be everything like this. And then it's just basically a podcast with animation. Where's and like, the creepy yeah. sexual undertones? This no, is what has, I made for. It has to all be, that though. But it's like it's yeah, just to a be podcast. fair, the the visuals are fucking amazing yeah like, it's it's really interesting and if our show was just replaced entirely with visuals like that i would be pleased as punch sure 
And that's the thing I kind of like. Have I'd be to, pleased as piss that I didn't get killed. That's the thing I'm conflicted with. I'm like, if our show was just this, you know, like I yeah. couldn't expect anything. If we anything. had an actual marketable skill to offer the world, <laughs> but, things but would it, be different. Yeah. But like, I didn't know that going in, and but now I see that it's just basically. The way it works is that um, what is it? Game Grumps animated? No, no, no. It's uh, it's um. So Pendleton Ward, the creator. Of I know the, who the fuck that is. This is for the audience, you son of a bitch. We don't care about the audience. <laughs> okay. Around here. Well, <laughs> so then we're we're much like uh, Midnight Gospel. So <laughs> the show is basically there is a podcast that I don't know if it was made at the same time or it already existed, but there is a podcast where this guy Duncan Trussell. Just interviews people. Duncan Trussell sounds like candy. Sure. Just like Dun Ruggles. Duncan Trussell inter interviews people. So the first episode, so th that's what I had the problem with. Ugh. The entire episode was non-consequential for what you're seeing on the screen. It's just literally a conversation between two real people. Hmm, who that are sounds not the characters familiar. Or have I heard that formula before? Yeah, like we've been doing it for five years. Why the fuck are we not rich? Uh, but, a talentless hack. Yeah, so it's a real conversation between two people, that, but I didn't realize that. It was never once expressed or revealed that yeah, was it, what it's going to be. Oh, my it God. Is, it is super definitely part of the show description. You just didn't read it. No, <laughs> I watched the YouTube uh, oh, I don't, I don't care. Kyle. This conversation is so fucking boring. The but problem the, is that none of us know how to draw boobies. I just want everybody to know I'm right. No, you're just you are ignorant, and that's the problem. <laughs> ignorant is close enough to write these no, days. Here, Nick. Here's what's great about that show. I mean, that it's bad. I'm not going to talk about any of the things that are great about it because that's the sort of thing that you should discover for yourself. But here's something that I thought was like was your fun. latent sexuality. Episode three has uh, has a guest that I I did not like this guy the whole time. I even said in another Discord, I said this guy is either a well-practiced uh, shyster at best, or just a daffy cunt. <laughs> and uh, turns out it was uh, it was Damien Eccles, which the name sounded familiar at first, but then somebody else had posted a video of uh, where Duncan Trussell goes on the Joe Rogan show, yeah, and he talks about it, and I was like, he he mentioned just one brief thing, and I was like, oh fuck, that's where it's from. This guy was one of the West Memphis Three. Oh ah, shit! Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it was a famous case of uh, wrongful accusation, or uh, where these three people were accused of murdering a child. Yeah, and it as uh, teenagers. In yeah, in, in uh, West Arkansas, Memphis, I think Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, and it was what? like this oh. long, it was this long drawn out thing. But the thing is, even though they're innocent, no, David no. Eccles sounds like a fucking cunt every single time they show him on screen like he's one of those kids who was just like way too into like i'm wicked and yeah. like you know just like one of those people he was a piece of shit before not that he was a murderer just he was a he was a cunt and oh yeah, yeah. so the fact that i was able to glean that before i was like i fucking hate this guy like i don't know who he is but fuck him well, just because you're like rooting for the so underdog doesn't mean you're rooting for not a shit. I feel that I made the same judgment of the same person from two different eras of their life, so I feel like I'm at least consistent. Well, I like that you, this is your selling point of why you like the show, is that you no, hated this I fucker. No, I directly said that has nothing to do with why the show is great, <laughs> just I thought this was fun. Kyle's oh, okay. listening comprehension strikes again. Yeah, I'm, Kyle's I'm, listening comprehension is just as strong as his reading comprehension. Yeah, my, my comprehension has always been like, have they said anything I agree with so far? And you did, but it wasn't anything that I meant to make the, uh, the output of, you know? But it was like the so POV wait, were, in a script I write about what, NyQuil. What did I say that agreed with you? You Fuck said this guy, guy is a cunt, and I go, yes. He's a cunt, <laughs> okay. and he's on the show that I did not like. Monomania. Regular mania. <laughs> yeah. The Kyle Cawthon experience. Oh, hold the on. The Kyle Cawthon bluegrass quit, experience. Quit, putting my, quit doxing me. <laughs> I would, All right. I would listen uh, to that. Oh, yeah. We, we're not here to talk about Kyle getting docked. We're here to talk about Kyle getting docked. 
<laughs> in his room with a Sega Genesis blaring Beavis and Butthead in 1997. <laughs> I think it was much earlier than that. Best! Yeah, I got him again! Ah, 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 I really Best hurt him! Friend. I hurt my friend! Both in the game <laughs> and in this show. They're sh both in a coma. They're under a big quilt with a sign that says two knuckleheads from the day. Ah, 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 ah. We should have cut this uh, last a couple minutes ago. Nah, it doesn't matter. We'll just make an extra long season finale. And then... Oh. Well, well, uh, yeah, this is the finisher, right? Yeah, th well, this isn't an episode. This is, uh, this is our Kickstarter pitch video for a new <laughs> project that will end up being a documentary about the West Memphis Three. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> HBO did three of them, we'll which make is a better one. Fascinating to watch because there's a character, like, well, a person, a real life person, who, like, the first episode was like, fuck those kids, they're fucking, they, they, they did it. And the second episode, like, he, he did kind of, like, he, he sort of changed stance. Backtracks. And then the third episode, he's like, I had a fucking tumor. And I am, like, way uh, on board with them. Like, they did not do shit. So, oh, wait. Yeah. It sounds a lot like our program. Yeah. Wait, so who <laughs> Bad has the tumor? opinions informed by congenital disorders. Who has yeah. the tumor? Is it me or you? We are the tumor. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I feel like Nick is, like, on the ball for the most part. He's the most fan favorite. He, uh, I think Keith is the funniest and like everyone likes him because he's the funniest but like he's kind of like... I'm it, the Jack Sparrow. It can't just be nothing but Jack Sparrow <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Pirates 4 was a fucking cinematic abortion. <laughs> Did you know they made a Pirates 5? Yeah, but oh, I, I assume they've made a Pirates 9 but I stopped paying <laughs> attention because you know, they're unwatchable filth. They, 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 I would support... I don't normally support like mass burnings of art but you know <laughs> even Orlando Bloom was just like no you're gonna make more than three mm, mm, mm. Fuck. even I'm not in uh, anything else and I won't do it Johnny Depp was like I'm a domestic abuse victim and I say fine fuck my perspective is effed in the gourd <laughs> god damn uh, yeah all I know is that they made enough that they eventually got Keith Richards to agree to play oh, his yeah. canonical dad oh he didn't have to so, do more than three at that, that point that was in the third one I think yeah I remember that oh. because, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're aware of all <laughs> Keith Richards' doings. It's like an involuntary, uh, like, quantum entanglement. Yeah, you just, like, you, you just shudder for a moment, and then you just know what he's been Much doing. Much like Justin when we're talking about ruining his life. <laughs> it's like they say about twins, where even though you're not in the same room, you can, like, you get a sense of what's going on. Oh, he's like that Cheech and Chong movie where, like, uh... Anytime something would happen to like, uh, I'm uh, funny, but not worth the effort. Cheech Marin, he would know that like it was happening because it would affect him or whatever, vice versa. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a Cheech, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. There's a Cheech Chong film where it's based off of like this whole thing where like the two twins could feel the I others. get it, but Jesus, I, I get the idea, Kyle. I just never heard of the movie. I've seen the first one and that's it. Anyway, I'm at level three. We're done. <laughs> Did they stop an arm wrestle because bike racing was no longer exciting to them. <laughs> I don't know. You're uh, at level three, so we're done? Yeah, man. We